This is Ron, and welcome to another episode of Mavic Mini Nation. It starts right now. Hello, today we're going to be doing another test flight with the uh, Mavic Mini. The new Mavic Mini just released on uh, the 11th of November. Um, I've only got one flight with it so far because uh, of my uh, stuck in customs delay. Uh, getting it uh, many days late and also as soon as I got the weather just started raining um, non-stop down here at the uh, beautiful Jersey Shore but today I won't call it a beautiful day and you see a lot of clouds back there but at least uh, at least it's not raining so we're going to try to uh, do some testing today we're going to try it in um, sport mode we're going to try it in cinematic mode uh, we're going to try to shoot 2.7k 30 day on our last video we we flew to p mode and we did 1080p at 60 so we're going to try the other things today where maybe we're even going to try to give it a bit of a range test today. now that's a line of sight range test a legal line of sight range test so um you know stay tuned i'll be right back uh this is ron back here we got the uh mavic mini on the landing pad and we have uh we have nine satellites going here um we're gonna take it off and hopefully acquire some more satellites we got 90 percent uh, battery life and um we're taking off in p mode it says on the screen i'm screen recording it says screen uh take off permitted here so i'm reading all this stuff but i'm actually doing a screen recording hopefully it uh, works so um we're gonna uh we got the EV set. Uh, we're gonna. Yeah, it's kind of dark out here, so we're gonna give it an EV of. Uh, gonna make it a little bit brighter. We're gonna give it a plus, plus a third on, on EV here. So, um, and we're gonna um, we're gonna lock in that auto exposure. This is the only settings you have on video. You'll, you'll be able to see this on the screen recording if I can get this lined up. So. Uh, Let's uh, take this thing off now. We got uh, 10 satellites, so uh, we're going to hit that uh, take off button here. We have to hold it down with our finger. There goes the little mini. There she is. She's hovering pretty good. All right, we're back for the uh, flight portion of the video here. I'm changing the exposure settings right here. Um, seeing what's working best here. I'm going to go, um, uh, what do I do here? I'm, uh, I'm overexposed a little bit because it's pretty cloudy. It was getting kind of near, um, sunset. So we, we went, a, a, a you know, uh, went up by a, overexposed by a third here. Um, so, um, look, you can see the histogram on the screen there. I'm kind of filling the whole histogram there. Um, so we're going to take off here in a, in a second or two. You can see some of the other settings. Here's where you uh, you hold your uh, thumb down on the takeoff button until the propellers start up. And uh, here we go. We're taking off. There's the uh, dunes here in uh, beautiful Margate City on a cloudy uh, November afternoon. Uh, we'll look around here a little bit now. Um, here I am uh, at the GoPro. The GoPro has uh, frozen at this point. So you're only going to get the, you know, the the screen recording here because I also, like a rookie, I forgot to um, hit start button on the onboard video on the drone. So all we have is the screen recording here. The GoPro is not working at this point. I'm talking away like it is, but it's not. So um, get ready here. We're going to kind of do a classic uh, Marcus Crawford uh, up and away style takeoff here. So uh, there you go. There's the um, behind me on the dunes. There's the streets of Margate. So uh, you know it's a it's a it's a fairly windless day. So of course it's taken off. Uh, it's flying really well. Um, we're gonna uh, attempt here. We got our bearings here, and we're gonna uh, head. Um, we'll kind of say north and east uh, towards the uh, Margate Pier. And then eventually to the um, Vetner uh, boardwalk here. But we're still kind of sorting things out. You can see my height on the left at the bottom, 71 feet up and uh, 287 feet away from me. Uh, you see the, the D there. There's that distance. And, of course, I'm not moving. Okay, now I'm moving here. You can see the miles per hour above the distance starting to move here. Get myself oriented here. And you can see I have locked the exposure on the uh, right side of the screen so it'll stay um, it, it'll keep the exposure locked at a, at a, at a third you know uh, brighter than uh, normal 
So no matter which way I turn the quadcopter, it'll still stay, that exposure will stay locked. It won't change whether I turn away or towards the sun. So um, we're getting ready for a little distance run here. We're going to do uh, kind of a line of sight range test here, see how far we can go. We're in P mode right now, which um, I always forget what P mode stands for, but that's kind of the basic mode there. I want to say program mode from a camera guy, but uh, I, I said, I know what it means, but I always forget. So as you can see, my um, histogram here isn't looking too good on the right side there. Um, but uh, we're going to carry on anyway. So the beach has a lot of debris on it. We had a little coastal flooding uh, the day before, so it left a lot of uh, debris on the beach. Here I got my first uh, aircraft signal interference warning. But um, we're just going to push through it. Uh, it's more of a, you know, hopefully it's more of a uh, FPV uh, signal loss than it is a control to the RC. I didn't see any signal loss there, and I didn't feel any loss of control on the sticks. So, okay, we've made it down to the pier, which is uh, already 1,300 feet. So now we're going to switch over to sport mode. We were doing about, what, 18, 19 miles per hour in uh, P mode, but now we're going to see how fast we can go in a sport mode here. So it's up to 20, 28. Uh, 28.6, 28.9, so we almost made the 29 miles per hour, not not quite, so uh, we're over 2,000 feet out now, we're approaching the uh, Ventnor boardwalk here, you can see the dunes there, I'm kind of, was going towards the dunes now, I'm kind of straightening myself out, I don't know if the wind's pushing the quad cup a little bit, or I'm just flying crooked, but um, but yeah, there's the, you can see the boardwalk on the left side of the dune there, dunes. And uh, I've made it to that point now. I'm over 3,000 feet out. So we're going to stop here. I think that's a good, um, good safe distance to stop and, uh, and come back. Um, this is like the second flight test. So we got good range. There's the ocean, there's the waves. And uh, now we're going to make uh, airport signal again. We haven't got that uh, efficiency uh, warning yet that everybody gets when they uh, go sport mode and, and thrust up, but uh, maybe we'll see it, maybe we won't. All right, so we're coming back. Those things before the bar walk, they're the outfall pipes that they installed um, a couple of years ago, just last year actually, to let the water um, get off the beach and the streets easier. So we're flying just about 100 feet. Um, you know, we could go a little higher, maybe we'd have avoided some of that signal loss but uh, we're moving along pretty good here so now we're, I think we're gonna we're gonna try that uh, well we we're gonna try sinus move mode but we actually went to P mode but we'll we'll, we'll continue on into P mode here um, so um, in sport mode it's not quite as fast as sport mode in the spark but with the spark the gimbal would be all over the place in sport mode if you were going this fast where the uh, mini three axis gimbal can handle um, you know, a, a, a full full pitch forward and the gimbal still is nice and stable. But uh, as I said, sparks a little faster than this if you're, if you're a speed demon. So, all right. Well, we're kind of almost back. We've got, still got a thousand feet to go. We're going to turn back around and go down, back down to the uh, Margate Fishing Pier here. We're going to try, um, when we get there, we're going to try to switch it over to the smooth mode again and, uh, you know, check out... Um, just how smooth this is because this drone you don't have the um you're not able to adjust the yaw the gimbal pitch many of the things that you can slow down to make your drone smoother on basically any drone that uses the dji go 4 app you cannot do it here because this just has a basic dji fly app so um we're, i'm hoping the citizen with mo can uh you know, uh, return most of those functions that, uh, you know, you would able, you'd be able to dial in on your own on the uh, DJI Go 4 app. So, um, I, mean, I know I'm kind of messing around here, but uh, I'm going to get started here in a second. Here we go. We're in a smooth mode, and I'm going to kind of pitch to the, um, oh, well, not pitch, but fly to the uh, right here. And I'm going to yaw back uh, to the left a little bit with my uh, le left hand and with my right hand going out so um, I, I couldn't get this smooth in, in, in P mode so um, this is definitely an improvement um, definitely helps you get better shots I, I should have used it to, 
on my first flight, but I never did anything but hit PMO in that flight. So we got some good looking waves rolling in there. Uh, video's a little dark here, but uh, so uh, I'm really liking this mode so far. I mean, our ZR histogram, we still we still don't have enough. Um, you know, stuff going on, on the right side of the screen there. But now I'm kind of pitching the gimbal down, and it's pretty smooth too. I mean, um, it's kind of nice and smooth, really. Pitching down, flying, doing a little yaw turn here. I mean, this is this is nice. I mean, they've really got this cinema smooth mode tuned pretty good for somebody that's trying to get some smooth cinematic style video here. So, no, I like it. Kudos to... Um, the engineers of DJI, this is this, they did a really good job of this mode. So, all right, we're gonna head back a little bit here towards towards my position on Plymouth Avenue. So we're gonna fly a little bit in cinema mode here. Of course, you go kind of slow. As you see, I'm only moving along here at under about eight nine miles per hour here. You don't get a lot of speed in cinema mode, but that's not the point of the cinema mode. The point is this fly smooth. Look at that little sun there hitting the water on the, where the waves break on the beach there. You get a little bit of reflection going on. So it was supposed to be sunny when I was flying, um, but uh, the sun never broke through like the um, weather forecast had predicted. But uh, you can see that reflection there. That, that's pretty cool. All right, well, we're trying to get back home again. We're about a thousand feet away. Again, we're moving along at a at a, at a cool 8.8 .8 miles per hour. And uh, Girl Man just dropped a, dropped a new video on YouTube. Uh, Girl Man just got the uh, Mavic Mini uh, just the other day, too. I just saw his kind of unboxing this morning. Okay, so let's get this thing back in position mode here and get our speed back again. So we still got 800 feet to go here. So you can see all that debris on the beach I was telling you about. It washed up uh, with the high high tides uh, that hit uh, yesterday, past couple of days actually. So here we're coming back. I'm kind of pitching down. So pitching down in Pimo, not doing too bad. Now here's a house they tore down in the spring. You're not allowed to do a lot of construction market in the summer, but they just started working on it recently. So um, I could hear them all the uh, construction noises I was getting ready to take the drone off so um, let me buzz over a little bit here up the hope I don't uh, alert these guys but uh, okay let's go back out again we got you a little look at that new home construction we'll go back out T flying uh, you know backwards towards the water however we got no obstacle avoidance on this guy but uh, don't worry if, if you're about 100 feet up here down at the beach there's nothing to hit so just stay over the water. So let's change this exposure a little bit. Oh, that's too bright. So here we go. We're caught where um, one stop of a third kind of not enough, and, and, this, and a, a seventh of a stop was like too much. But um, we're facing the sun now, so that totally changes the exposure. So but uh, we'll, we'll get it figured out here. You can see the... Um, the histogram moved over way over to the right where it wasn't before, but now I'm moved it back over again. And we got aircraft signal interference, so so I, I really haven't had popped up the usual um, that usual message where you're flying too fast. I just keep getting the signal thing here, and I'm you know there's Wi-Fi back in those houses on the other side of the dunes and the bulkhead, but I mean I'm getting it out here where I'm you know not really over in the house is not really over anything you know there's no there's no wi-fi networks uh on sitting on the beach there so i, I don't know why i'm getting this interference but okay let's cruise down the beach kind of backwards here just you know taking it all in here again doesn't matter if you fly backwards it doesn't have obstacle avoidance we're nothing to, nothing to hit up there anyways so um as you can see the beach kind of deserted today it's it was about about 50 degrees, but it, it wasn't too bad. 50 degrees, mostly cloudy, but much wind. So it, it wasn't too bad standing out here, flying this, uh, flying this Mavic Mini here, which has a long flight time. But uh, okay, we'll bring it back a little bit here. We're about 400 feet away from from the home point, and uh, we'll bring her back in.
Yeah, she really is a good flyer. I mean, you have it up in the air, you wouldn't you wouldn't know you were flying such a small drone. It handles and does, you know, performs in the wind just like a lot of bigger drones do. I mean, it, it you know, I mean, they, you know, they call it a Mavic Mini, but I mean, it's a real Mavic. It uh, may be small, but has a lot of capabilities of the bigger uh, members of the Mavic family. So, um, nothing to complain about as far as flyability and, uh, again, um, you know, I, 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 you know, I got over 3,000 feet out with, with no, with no loss of FPV. So, um, it's pretty good for a drone in this price range. I mean, better than the, better than the Spark. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to take a few pictures. So you can see the interface on the, uh, uh right hand side of the screen when you change it to, uh, pictures, uh, from video to, uh, photos. Of course, this is a when I discovered that I wasn't running any video, um, when I went to switch pictures and it, it was already in like a picture mode, but uh, there we, we flashed the picture. We'll, we'll pop this uh, that picture up on the screen here so you can see what it looks like. And then um, we'll try to take another picture here too. We'll kind of pop it around, get you a different angle in the second shot here. There's, there's the first photo. All right, let's kind of get us off a second photo here. We've got to look at the histograms kind of Real weird now. It's like got this. It's almost like the the, the dual mountains there. All right. So what's we can do with the with the coastline here? We got some interesting clouds up there. I know. I, I like that blue above the clouds. So I'm kind of kind of break the. Well, my roll of fourth. My roll of thirds isn't too bad here. I want to go with that angle where I'm showing more sky than beach because I want to show that blue that's above the clouds, not just you know the clouds leading into the top of the picture. So uh, let's get a snap on this here. And of course we don't, we don't have a lot of manual uh, settings here like we couldn't have done any HDR or, um, you know, we couldn't have taken three, three blended three exposures together or taken three exposures or bracket, bracket is was the word I'm trying to spit out here. Um, but uh, I think I'm gonna pop the uh, photo up here in the screen, just kind of wait for it, it'll, it'll come. I like that little thing at the at the bottom middle of the screen where that arrow with the drone kind of shows you what direction the drone is pointing or into relationship of to where you're actually uh standing. So yeah, as blue as it is, you can see there is some blue sky up there. There you go, there's the there's the picture. So all right. So let's actually roll some video for a change here since we only had a screen recording so far. So we're gonna we're gonna put it into uh thirty frames per second, two point seven K. That's the uh top uh top ability of this drone to to record. So let's take off and get a little bit of video. And we're starting to get low on uh flight time. I think it's uh, about forty percent. So um you know. We don't have to bring it back yet, but we're going to think about bringing it back. Uh, sport mode. So let's get it back in that CineSmooth mode and see if we can get some more cinematic video right along the uh, right along where the water's breaking here on the on the shore. So you can see that uh, reflection again uh, where the water's um, on the, uh, uh, the where you know the water's on the uh, the. The yeah, the sun is causing that color on the edge of the of the water line there, which is kind of kind of interesting for such a gloomy overcast day. So, all right, let's fly down here to this outfall pipe and um, see what we're looking at here. The histogram is pretty well balanced right now, so that that's good. And I'm pitching the gimbal down. You can see that little. Um, I think it pops up on the right hand side shows you shows you shows you how I'm pitching the gimbal or how I shows me how I'm pitching the gimbal. So okay, we're down here, we're almost to the outfall pipe. So we're kind of we're in that real cine smooth mode. We're kind of, you know, descending, turning, you know, y'all in the gimbal kind of all at the same time. You know, getting that cinematic look there. So, yeah, just adjusting around here a little bit. That's a pretty cool shot of the waves coming and hitting the end of the uh, the outfall pipe there. The ocean waves are kind of always interesting to, to watch them now, especially from above on these drones. 
yeah, so um, so you can really get some, you know, the, the jury's in. You can get some smooth um, motion uh, flying out of your um, Mavic Mini if you use the, um, you know, the CineSmooth mode, which I highly recommend you try now if you haven't tried it out yet. So, you can see, I can't, can you see any dolphins or anything down there tonight? People always talk about that. I've never seen any any dolphins, sharks, anything. Anytime I'm flying over the ocean, I never see anything. Of course, the Jersey water is not that clear, so. But, okay, um, we're about 750 feet out here, and we're down to about 30% battery life, so we should probably think about coming home, you know, getting at least getting it close to us. I don't know whether this thing is geofast or anything like that, but we're going to bring her on in, get her close. Maybe we'll fly out one of the, maybe we'll try out one of those intelligent flight modes close by while we're running this battery down. Uh, everybody loves those intelligent flight modes, right? <laughs> I mean, this, this doesn't have as many as the usual typical DJI drone, but, you know, it does have your basic, it has your orbit, your helix. Um, anyhow, uh, uh, the drone I think it has four, and I've said three of them, but I forget the fourth one. Now, what this doesn't have is the uh, track tracking function that most DJI drones and a lot of non-DJI drones have the ability to have to draw the box around yourself and have the drone track you. And, and in the in the inexpensive drones, they use you usually just use you know they follow you via the um, your your phone your your phone's uh, GPS. But uh, this doesn't have that. Um, Will it be added in the future up for Mark Great? I don't know. They may have held it back on purpose so that this uh, Mavic Mini sales don't cannibalize the, the bigger Mavic Airs or just Mavic 2s. Okay, so let's go in here and uh, see if we can find out where these um, intelligent flight modes are hidden here. Yeah, I haven't really played with the app too much. I mean, I uh, looked at it, and uh, there you go. Screenshot. And it's pretty easy, right? You don't have to dig too many menus. It even gives you the typical little uh, DJI training video here, how they get the, the mode working, which is, is on all the uh, different, uh, uh, in the Go4 app for all the other drones, too. Okay, so it's, the arrow's show me there which way the drone's going to uh, rotate. And here it wants me to draw that little box. Over, over the point of interest, which point of interest is going to be me in this one. So let's see if I can get the, if I can get that done here. All right, we got the box drawn. Here we go. We're going to take off, and there we go. All right, so now we're, uh, you know, this is now this is the actual footage from the drone, and not screen recording anymore. So you can see how much nicer it looks, and you see how it starts off real slow and steady, and it's doing a very nice orbit circle, whatever you want to call it. But you see it pick up speed by the end. I mean, it's really flying around. So it it does a 360, but the, it doesn't. You it it increases speed all along. So it starts off real slow. At the end, it's it's going you know pretty fast. So, so that was it. Now it's telling me low battery. So, um, you know, we got to do this, get this return to home going here. So I'm still on screen recording. So, yeah, we're, we're going to do a return to home promptly. Well, actually, um, we're, we're right here. So probably maybe we're not going to do a return to home since um, if it doesn't land a pad, I don't want it land in the, in the sand. So. Oh, probably just gonna bring this guy back, uh, back down, and land him manually. So um, I, I don't, I don't want to get the little mini all sandy on his first trip to the beach. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're we're only forty-two uh, feet in the air. I mean, we're only fifty-four feet in the air, and forty-one feet away from us. So um, here we go. We'll get this come in kind of backwards here. We'll back it down, and we're down at fifteen percent battery life. So. We're going back it all the way, and no, no worries, folks. So whatever, we're, it's it's right, it's right here. So you know, it's not going to, nothing's going to happen. It's right above me, you know. It's right here. So we're we're all safe here. And I'm getting 
that low battery, we've got double low battery message up there, so it really wants me to know I got a low battery, which is great if you're if you're not that close. I mean, again, I'm so close doesn't matter, but you know, if you're if you're down the down the beach there, you but you know, you'd have to get back in a hurry. So okay, we're almost we're almost down here. So yep, almost down. So um I'm gonna call that a successful flight. Um we kind of we tested out some things, a uh, little, little range test. We tested out sinus move mode, sport mode. Um, we we tested out one of the um, intelligent flight modes. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that a I'm gonna call that a win here. So um, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one. Ron back here for some conclusions on my flight today. I flew right from the top of that dune, right up there. There's a bench, a little spot, uh, so that's where I kind of set up and flew today. I didn't have the best conditions. It was kind of mostly overcast and cloudy, but it's been raining for days, so it's nice just to have, just to be dry. Um, so, and I didn't have much wind. At the beach it's always, always kind of a breeze, but there's almost no breeze today. So I didn't get any kind of a wind test in, but we did do, you know, sort of a line of sight range test. We got out to 3,000 feet and I didn't see, um, you know, much, much break up until the end. Maybe I saw the video stutter a little bit near the end. You judge from the screen recording that I took. And I think I messed up. I think I forgot to hit the record button on the drone itself so I don't have any onboard footage for the first uh, part of the video where I do the range test and I fly from Margate down to the Ventnor boardwalk uh, but it, you know um, hopefully it still looks good on the screen recording and then when I got back I took a picture and then I think I discovered that I was rolling no video but again hopefully we got our screen recording turned out so um, you know we, we went down and we started out in program mode we switched over to sport mode and we got about 10 miles per hour uh, better in sport mode we were hitting about maybe 18 in p mode and about 28 almost hit 29 uh in sport mode uh and on the way down it was slightly faster than on the way back and we must have been hitting the wind on the way back and it was about a mile or two per hour less on, on the way back so when we when we did we got done doing that we stopped at the uh at the margate fishing pier we tried the uh Cinema smooth mode, uh, which allows you to get a little bit more cinematic video because the uh, what I discovered is the Mavic Mini doesn't have settings where you can uh, change your yaw and your gimbal pitch and things like you can on the the Mavic Pro series. So, uh, but the Cinema smooth settings did a really good job of uh, slowing down the yaw. Um, so you can combine a yaw with a left or right stick movement to kind of do a, a smooth orbit where you're doing two movements at once. It slowed down the gimbal pitch mode so you could pitch down smoothly 
uh, all at the same time when you're yawing and, and, and you know, uh, pitching, uh, pitching left or right, or not pitching, but uh, moving the drill left or right. So um, yeah, it's a very impressive mode and one I'll be using a lot. Uh, we, we took a picture or two, um, you know, again, we didn't have the best scenery out here today, but uh, we tried to grab a picture and uh, play with the exposure settings a little bit. We found out we have an auto exposure lock setting on it, which is good. And we had that for video, uh, as well as pictures, so that was pretty good because they, they say there's no settings for video, but I was I'm almost sure I was controlling the exposure and able to lock it in in the video So, you know at least that's something um, it's not complete auto I, I know people want all these manual settings and I, I would too, but I mean I understand that this is kind of a you know a, a, a drone for you know, non non uh, non photographers that uh, maybe you would say so uh, maybe they'll add those settings um, in the future you know maybe they won't so uh, we will see uh, but for right now um, you know I, I, as far as the thing flew I mean I mean I didn't have any wind again I keep saying I didn't have any wind but I mean it flew great I mean I, I, I had no problems controlling it I never felt like I ever had a control issue at all I mean it flies precise um, the enhanced Wi-Fi is as good as any enhanced Wi-Fi I've ever seen on the drone um, you know I mean, it's remarkable well I mean uh, you almost think you're flying like an OcuSync or LightBridge drone at, at times or whatever it, it's almost that good so um, uh, you know thanks for uh, you know joining me today for this uh, for my only my second real flight of the uh, real, maybe it was the second flight of the uh, Mavic Mini so uh, there'll be plenty more to come and uh, just you know uh, what do you you know subscribe to the channel hit that bell button for notifications and more video and if you like this video hit that thumbs up on the way out the door and we will uh, you know see you in the next one